activities could help your anxiety, improve your mental health, and health in general? Would you be interested? I will be discussing three natural remedies in this video. The first item I want to discuss is exercise. Exercise promotes the release of brain chemicals that are very good for you. Dr. John Rady describes exercise as a fertilizer to help our cells function optimally, including brain cells. Exercise promotes neurogenesis, which helps the brain grow new brain cells. It helps you generate endorphins, the body's feel-good chemicals, which can help you feel a sense of well-being. Researchers at the Charité University of Medicine, who completed an experiment with panic attack sufferers, concluded the following. Our results for the first time suggest that exercise has an acute anti-panic attack activity. Best of all, you can get started today with something as simple as walking. Another natural remedy is proper eating. Dr. Daniel Amen explains that by optimizing the functioning of the basal ganglia, things such as fear and anxiety can be decreased, while at the same time, things such as motivation and energy levels can be increased. You can optimize by keeping your blood sugar levels consistent throughout the day in three ways. By consuming, one, foods lower in carbohydrates than the typical Western diet. Two, foods lower in glycemic load. This term refers to how quickly a typical portion of a particular food raises your blood sugar. You can easily find the glycemic rating of different foods by completing an internet search and then building a diet that favors this approach. And finally, four, consuming food more frequently throughout the day but in lesser quantities. Another important item is proper sleep. The Division of Sleep Medicine at Harvard Medical School indicated studies have shown that even partial sleep deprivation has a significant effect on mood. Lack of sleep can elevate the body's production of stress hormones, which can affect mood and even cause depression. However, addressing these sleep problems makes a difference. And even if you don't have underlying sleep problems, Taking the following steps can ensure you obtain adequate sleep and lead to improved mood and well-being. Ensure you don't have too much noise in your room where you sleep. If noise is an unavoidable problem, consider getting a white noise machine or a small fan that runs in the background. Ensure that your room is not too hot. A cool temperature is best for sleeping. If you awake in the night, don't turn on the lights. Rather. Use a flashlight. This is because light affects a brain chemical called melatonin, which regulates your sleep-wake cycle. Would you like more information on the topics covered in this video? All you need to do is simply click on the card on the upper right corner of this video and subscribe to our free newsletter. Thank you for watching. As usual, we look forward to presenting a new video in our series next week.